Hey guys, we're here at Lakeland Auto Fest 2020. We're gonna see some amazing cars today. And you can see a lot of them making some laps right now. Back right over there is uh, Richard Petty's uh, famous 1970 Superbird. And uh, we got a lot of other uh, Mopar uh, drag racing cars behind it. So I'm gonna try to find out where these cars are going so we can take a better uh, close up look of these cars. Here with uh, with a Brendan, we're here at Lakeland, and he just pulled up in this really sweet Superbird. Uh, what's so special about this particular Superbird? This is Richard Petty's 1970 NASCAR Superbird. Oh my goodness! And uh, would you say he's like one of the, the greatest racers of all time? I believe so. It's disputed between him and a couple other people, but he is the king. He's awarded the king. Gotcha. And uh, I saw you coming in. What's it like driving this car? Um, it's it sounds like an absolute monster. So right up here is a dent in the firewall from testing at Darlington. It's not the Roadrunner Darlington wreck, this is a testing wreck with the Superbird. And Richard Petty drove that himself? Yep. Atlanta Speedway? Yeah. That hubcap fell off. And I was like, I, I think I hear something. Dust cap. <laughs> Dust cap, you can't find another one, it's gone forever. Swapping modern engines. Mike Stavisky, Stavisky, Russell Oh, that's boring. He's going to be using that out. So we'll stop on him. So is that you driving? I'm driving right after this. Gotcha. It's my dad driving. How fast are you guys going right now? Probably 80. All right, so guys, I'm taking a close-up look of the uh, the Superbird, and apparently uh, Plymouth actually made this car to lure uh, Richard Petty back into the Plymouth team because in 1969 he switched over to the Ford team. And uh, what's also really cool about the Superbird is it was only legal for one season in NASCAR. And again, yeah, this was the inspiration for uh, for the king in uh, in Disney Pixar's uh, the Cars movie. All right, guys, we got some iconic American drag racing cars of the late '60s. Here we got a '68 uh, Plymouth Barracuda. And then also over there we have a, a, a 68 uh, Dodge uh, Dodge Dart, and the Dodge Dart was owned by by Dick Landy, very famous American uh, drag racer. And then this one, this uh, Barracuda, was part of the the Sox and Martin uh, race car team. So very iconic uh, legends if you follow uh, drag racing back in the the late 60s. And by the way, these cars are actually owned by the same guy who owned the the Richard Petty Superbird. So very nice collection that they have. Hey guys, look at this Italian beauty. This is made by uh, Ferrari, and it's based off the, the hybrid La Ferrari. And uh, it's one of the featured cars of Lakeland Auto Fest, and it's uh, touted to being uh, priced at over $4 million when they acquired this car. So, uh, very beautiful. I actually saw this car come in, uh, doing some laps around the, uh, the course here, and I like the sound of it. All right, what's really cool about Lakeland Auto Fest is it's actually right next to an airfield, so all kinds of uh, Really uh, cool uh, relics of the past that flew in the air. This one looks uh, Soviet or something. I don't really know much about these uh, these jets. 
Uh, but yeah, next to that, we got the uh, some more uh, Mopar right there. Hey guys, I'm over here in the, the Mopar section. And one of my complaints, not really a complaint, but last year at uh, Lakeland's Auto Fest, I didn't see a, a real Mopar section. Maybe I missed it. Uh, but this one, it's just a whole lot full of uh, Mopar. Now, this particular one is one you don't see every day. This is a 1966 Dodge Charger, and it's a fastback. And this is the, the Charger that started all the Chargers. Um, this eventually became one of the most famous uh, muscle cars of all time. Uh, this particular one has a, a 383 four barrel inside, uh, but later on you could actually get a 426 uh, engine inside, but there weren't many uh, uh, chargers with that kind of engine. Hey guys, I'm here with Brett, and he's showing off his awesome uh, Challenger. What is unique about your Challenger? It's a 2014 limited production car. They only made 2,000 of them in, two, in 2014. This is number 571 of 2,000. In the plum crazy purple, they only made 299 of them. In the configuration that this is with the purple, the sunroof, and a six-speed, there's only 59 of them in existence. So it's it's a pretty rare car to find. That was awesome. What, what do you think is the first thing that, that made you want to buy this car? Just the fact that it's purple and my <laughs> wife loves purple. We had, we had a red one and she was like, when we saw the purple, she wanted the purple and I was attracted to it because it was a shaker and it's a limited production. So it's kind of, they're, they're rare. You know, they're not a, they're not a very, popular car. I mean, if you walk around in here, I highly doubt you'll even see another 2014 in here. It's a challenge, guys, but I don't think we're going to succeed in that. No, <laughs> you, you might, but like I say, they're rare, and it's, we take a lot of pride in our car, and you know, we, we have a lot of fun showing it. We have a great crowd here today, and people are really good. Our club is a good, active club. We have a lot of fun. Hey guys, I'm here with Ken, and he's showing me his very unique car. Uh, so tell me about this car. Well, this car is a one of five out of the factory, uh, verified by Fiat Chrysler. And then from the factory, it was taken by the dealer to High Springs, Florida, where Drop Top Customs did the conversion to make it a convertible. One of five out of the factory with the conversion makes it a one of one in the world. So it's pretty well uh, put together a lot of uh, a lot of toys in it. <laughs> uh, dealer ordered about everything possible for the car. And then, uh, again, with the conversion, makes it a pretty rare car. That's amazing. And so it's it's the, the, the convertible yes. that makes it extremely unique? Yeah, there's not too many convertibles out there at all with the Challenger because the factory doesn't make them, but it is a factory-authorized conversion. Gotcha. So, That's so awesome. But uh, it's got the 485 horsepower motor in it. But uh, I've never had it over 45 miles an hour. Do you believe that? You work for my insurance company by any chance? <laughs> yeah, for, for legal purposes. <laughs> That's so cool. So uh, aside from that, what else made you want to buy this particular? Well, I had just come from the doctor, and uh, my wife's car is a, is a 93 Plymouth Voyager van. And oh, yes. she, she drives our 10 grandchildren around in that, and I'm, I don't care for that. So we were, I had a doctor's appointment, and from the doctors, I wanted to stop by the, the Chrysler dealer to uh, take a look at a new van for her. Well, the doctor gave me some news that basically he said, don't make any long range plans. <laughs> so I walked in, this was sitting on the showroom floor and I says, well, we're going home with that. And so my wife is a little little upset that we can't get the seven grandkids in. And I says, well, look at it like this. You still got your Plymouth Voyager. She says, yeah, but I don't have my kitchen. Is that Mickey like Mickey Mouse? No, it's Mickey like Mickey D. Oh. You know what the D stands for? A dog. Uh oh, she's ready for a dog fight. Here's another uh, rare piece of a Mopar history, a 1966 Plymouth Fury 2. Um, now Plymouth uh, Furies came out in one, two, and three. Uh, one was like the, the base model two and three added extra trim. Now the 66 has a, a split uh, front and I don't really know much about this uh, car aside from really that. It's, it's, it's beautiful though. I like these rare uh, pieces of, of Mopar history. Found some, uh, some Cudas. This is a 71 uh, Plymouth Cuda, uh, four barrel and it's got a 340 inside, and you want to know how I know that? It says it right there on the billboard. All right, so there's also a lot of uh, Corvettes here too. So some guys actually trading this uh, this Mustang Coupe, which I think are pretty cool uh, Mustang variants. Most people like the Fastbacks, but I think the Coupe has a very uh, unique uh, shape to it. Another uh, 66 Dodge Charger, kind of ironic. I've never seen one before in my life, but now I've seen two at the same car show. Hey guys, I think I found McHugh's car, you know, that John Wayne drove in at McHugh. <laughs> not, not really. It's actually a 73 uh, Firebird though. Very unique color. It's almost like the, uh, the color of the, the Bullet Mustang. 
Hey guys, my time is wrapping up here at uh, Lakeland Auto Fest, and I'm going to end this uh, video showing off this uh, really unique uh, car. It's a 1978 Excalibur uh, Series 3. Now, at first I thought this was a Mercedes, and apparently it was actually modeled after a Mercedes. Um, so it's got this really uh, unique look to it. And apparently a Studebaker had a big hand in, uh, in, in this car too, but I guess they rejected the design or something. I don't really know much about the, uh, the history of this car, to be honest, but it really caught my eye, and I just had to show you guys on film, or on video, sorry.